Hey everybody, welcome to the new stream. This is Max from Server 133. Alright guys, so the very first time I am making a video here trying to figure out something and your opinions, your suggestions are going to be really, really helpful for me to get through this task. Okay, so this is in regards with the upcoming updates about ascending the general. Uh, the reason I'm confused is I have got three amazing ground generals. Uh, one of them is our very favorite CPU. CPU Africanus is a very, very, very highly recommended ground general for multipurpose. Again, the reason I have worked on his speciality and even after having the general Elise, I'm working on CPU is because I have invested way too many gems and runestone chests to actually stop working. Worst part is I cannot have CPU and, Ale uh, and uh, Elise together. Uh, because the skills don't stack even even these changing these skills won't do any difference so the skills don't stack the other general that I have for the ground is Alexander the Great let me have a look at him and uh, Alexander the Great which is a ground rally general increases ground troops attack by 20% when generals leading the army to attack increases rally capacity by 15% when generals leading the army to launch alliance war the problem with this guy is he cannot be an assistant for CPU. However, there's something which I wanted to try and I'm going to check that right now. Is uh, I'm going to have him as the main general. Where is uh, Alexander the Great? And the assistant is going to be CPU, my ground general. And his first skill does not work because of the main skill of Alexander the Great. Making it kind of a little difficult. Let me see if I can use Elise with him. Because I have no skill book on this guy. Neither I have any skill book on Elise. So maybe I should be able to use her. As an assistant. And nope. It does not work. However, there is a ground general that is available in the tavern. A uh, very famous ground general who is also ascendable and that is Trajan. So the problem is I can have Trajan as the main general and assistant with CPO or assistant with Alexander or even assistant with uh, Elise. But the thing which is confusing me in here is the fact that I can ascend all four of these generals but I can only get more of Trajan easily compared to CPU and Ellis. So this is what I think I should do and this is what you guys can help me out here with. So I've got multiple options in my mind and the first option is uh, as I have worked on the speciality of my general CPO I can make Trajan is the main general once I start uh, working on a speciality or even if I don't work on a speciality it's nothing wrong in that I can eventually improve the speciality on Trajan as well so what I'm thinking is uh, I can make Trajan as my main general because I'll be able to ascend him easily over a period of time and the buffs are also going to be really really helpful so I can get more of him from the tavern he can also be ascended easily and make CPU as the assistant at the current stage, I am the one who leads the rally for the alliance. However, my alliance is not that big right now. Uh, we have got only a couple of K35s. Uh, we don't have people that coin. So that is the reason my team and all, we are very calm and quiet. Uh, we don't really make a lot of noise <laughs> around here and there. Uh, also, we are kind of VP active. So we keep stealing resources from the uh, server as in when people do a bubble drop. In a lot of new servers, bubble drop, I mean... There's no bubble or burn policy. You can just simply sit unbubbled, keep gathering, keep growing. But the stage in which our server has reached, if you are a big player and you want to grow, you will have to steal resources from others. And the fun part is people with alts, 50, 50, 60, 60, 100 alts. Okay, that's too much. 10 alts, 2 alts, 5 alts. They drop their bubble on alts. We go and steal them and we really have good resources to grow with. Well, the point being is, this is what I'm thinking to do. Make Trajan my main ground general, have CPU as the assistant when I'm doing a solo attack and if I'm doing a rally for the alliance then make Trajan as the main general, 
assistant as the Alexander and do the same. Of course, I'll be losing the buffs on the speciality, which is going to be really hurtful for me. But then on the other hand, I'll have a major rally capacity. But the situation currently is that my rally capacity is around 17 million. And uh, considering that the entire alliance being active, which is not always active in battlefield as everybody's from different time zone. So we only have like seven to eight people that play battlefield sincerely. We are still recruiting people from other servers as we have got some guys who are quitting the game so you can grab their accounts. But that is completely a different story. So looking at the situation, filling a 17 million rally is a little, little impossible unless people use math size buff. So I'm still not sure if I should be thinking about uh, having Alexander, at the, Alexander the Great as the assistant. Just follow the CPU and Trajan combination. So that's one of the first options. 5 star CPU, 2 ground presets, 1 for solo, 1 for rally. Now moving to the second option. Second option is I start working on the ascending of all my other generals. Like this is what somebody said. I don't remember who said this. But pro players, they start ascending their duty officers. And uh, then they ascend their main generals. So this is what I'm thinking to do exactly is to ascend my ground and mounted sorry range and mounted general as i can get a lot of their fragments easily from the game maybe from the relic or from the uh tavern or something or the other for example my current range general is a uh, very famous electra you know getting her fragments is possible from the relics However, the problem is if I want to enhance her, I have got some fragments here. I can go, I guess, two stars easily or three stars. I have the Blood of Ares. So in the Trial of Night event, if I start investing on Electra, I can easily get another 300 out of this and maybe following with another 400. So in total, my Blood of Ares can go 1250 or 1300 approximately and I can try and get my Electra three stars. That is one thing which is going on in my head. SVS being a little slow, I am not able to play much or fight much and I'm not looking at it at the moment. But yeah, looking at the situation, I'm trying to focus on getting Electra to higher level. Post that, I'll be focusing on my Roland. You know, try to get him to 3 stars because ascending him to 2 stars is not going to be really beneficial. 3 stars is going to increase the math size. And maybe 4 stars is going to be really helpful for me to hunt bosses as that's what I do for my alliance. So yeah, I'll come to the second point is second option what I have in mind is max out my range, max out my mounted, try to max out my defense general if I can, because getting the fragments of defense general is again complicated, not complicated, time consuming is the answer. So wait till the time I max out my range and mounted general, uh, maybe also max out my defense general and then I max out my ground general if I get fragments of CPU. The reason I said if is because recently this event, uh, limited recruitment or limited recruiting order, something like that, is where I actually bought some of these uh, recruitment order and I could get a couple of fragments of CPO. So if you see here in my account right now, yeah, my inventory is not that impressive to be honest. It's, it's okay. Not that of what a rich person's inventory would be. So where is my CPU? Did I buy mistakenly assemble and dismiss him? Because yeah, I've got 44 of his fragments. Which means I can make him 1 star complete for sure. No big deal. Uh, but then again. If it's going to take me time to go for it. Like maxing my range. Maxing my mounted. Maxing my defense. Maxing my duty generals. And then maxing out CPU. This is something which I am kind of convinced to do because uh, I just got few fragments, like four of the fragments and I think that I'll be getting more of CPO in the Trial of Nights. So, summing it up, very simple question. Should I forget about the future, start working on Trajan and try to max out Trajan as soon as I can and make him my main ground general with CPO as the assistant and uh, Alexander as the assistant for Rally or be patient, max out my range, max out my mounted, max out my defense and then try to max out CPU as in when I get the fragments. Remember, I am not coining 
much in the game five dollars ten dollars is what i spent per event which is for the uh what do we say the dawn of civilization i didn't even do the dawn of civilization this time if you have a look here the event is already gone and uh, i'll just show you guys my cake so my cake is completely zero i have spent nothing in this event one is i was super busy with my events shows and everything which is kind of good because the lockdown took two years out of my life wherein i had nothing to do apart from Ebony, and now that things are getting back i'm not playing the game much like i used to do before 12 12 hours every time i'm just kind of playing uh, once uh, uh, once or twice a day for two hours maybe doing speed rallies with my team yeah don't have much details on how speed rallies work it's kind of something that we don't share up front to everybody so time to conclude the video please guys come to the comment section i'm going to be specially looking at the comment section of this video i do not look at the comment section of a lot of my videos i don't know recently some uneducated swine came to my uh, youtube comment and said uh, congratulations you have successfully got one unsubscribe like I, I mean i don't care bro if you unsubscribe my channel not that you're making a great difference by subscribing and watching my videos uh, so according to him he unsubscribed because i was not replying to him on the facebook let me tell you guys social media platform social media apps is not my thing i use discord i use line i use whatsapp you can ask for those details i'm more than happy to share my personal contact no problem instagram i used to use it a lot previously when i, I used to be a brand influencer for probust it's a supplement brand dietary supplement brand in india so i used to be a influencer for them post lockdown i kind of lost interest in bodybuilding and going to the gym uh, i i want to get back to it but then there's a lot of other things that is happening around me apart from the game in which I am thoroughly occupied. Plus the shows, events and all my old clients kind of getting back. So yeah, the, the, the part of my life is amazing, fun, enjoying thoroughly. So please come to the comment section and let me know what is your thought. I will do my best to compare, evaluate. Your suggestions mean a lot. There's also another question. This is something which new players have asked me. And if you are an experienced person watching this video, I would also want you to give me an opinion about the defense general. Right now, two of the best, I mean, there are a lot of good defense generals like uh, Leo the Third. I should have concluded this video, but I think extended it for a minute or two won't really make much difference because this could be a common question for a lot of players. So Leo the third increases in city troops attack by 10% and in city siege machine attack by another 35 when general is the main city defense general. He is good as an assistant, increases in city attacks by 10% of each type. It is as good as having a golden rush onto your account. And siege attack by 35. Good. So total siege attack buff increased by 45 and then rest of them 10, 10, 10 which is 55, 65, 75% total attack buff increase. However, uh, he's good as an assistant. Uh, maxing him out as a main general, I'm not sure. Because getting him is also a little difficult. A lot of people have got William Marshall. And I'm not sure if the non-coiners have managed to max him out. The coiners have managed to do anything and everything with the game. Those who spend like $1,000 every event or $2,000 every event have managed to max out the uh, defense general like uh, William Marshall Joseph E. Johnston, which is George Dewey, or any other general they like. Uh, my question is, for all the people watching this video, should a non-coiner, a player that actively goes to the relics, a player that actively does gathering, a player that plays actively, participates in SVS, participates in battlefield, plays like actively but does not spend money, I repeat, plays actively but does not spend money, should he focus on general like William Marshall or George Dewey, which is also known as, previously known as Joseph E. Johnston, or he should work on a defense general like Kuzunogi because he is available in the tavern and the relics, or Yi Sun Sin. Even he is available in the relics, he is also available in the tavern. So this question, very simple. Should you be working on a defense general like Joseph E. Johnston, William Marshall or should you be working on a defense general like Yisun Sin or Kuzunoki?
Remember, these two generals are available in the relics and in the tavern. So you can get them easily. However, generals like Minamoto are also available in the tavern. So you can have a very good range general 5 star. Getting Electra 5 star is a little difficult because it takes time to get her fragments from the relics. Well, it is the free freest way to do is Hannibal or Roland for the mounted. And that is one of things which got me relaxed is like Roland is available in the tavern. Roland fragments are also available in the relic. Martinus is available in the tavern but not his fragments are available in the relic. So that makes it a little difficult for those who have Martinus. People with Hannibal can get him from the relic also from the tavern. So considering all of these complicated situations and confusing thoughts. Well I can simply figure out something which works for me. But consider that not everybody is the same. Not everybody has the uh, same kind of the gems income or the gold income in the game. And multiple factors come into the picture. But whoever you are, whatever is your keep size, whatever is your level, you're watching this video and you have an opinion about ascending the ground general, please put it in the comment section. I'm going to also add my Discord channel link in the description after one day of releasing the video. There's no reason for doing that. It's just that I'm lazy to edit the video to enter the channel <laughs> name in the description. Sorry for that. <laughs> All right. So finally, I conclude the video. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Max from Server 133 signing out and I will see you next time.